Hello again, everyone. We are playing Chocobo Hot and Cold. We still haven't found all the chocographs, so that is um, what we are going to be working on today in this here episode. And I just found one right off the bat. First find on this one. Hmm? Right kind of a blank. By the way, uh, regarding uh, frame rates and uh, animations and uh, time and things, uh, I suppose those who uh, know just stuff about Final Fantasy IX will know about the. Uh, I think it's called Excalibur II. Uh, that you can find. Uh, if you uh, reach a specific part of the end game before 12 hours have passed on the uh, end game clock, uh, let's just say between a between the uh, obligatory ATEs and the uh, well, the massive cutscenes stuff, uh, getting that item in the PAL version, it took skills. Uh, long story short, this uh, this PC port is my first uh, credible chance of uh, ever getting that item, and uh, well, let's just say I'm still not even gonna bother. Um, oh, oh yeah, forgot to let's see about my tea. Um, <laughs> Mm. Yeah, a little bit better. That's ah, so good. Hey. Now, if you get a chop graph as one of those uh, within five seconds thing, uh, things, and uh, you get it on, uh, well, after getting the double points and uh, uh, bonus time, uh, you get stupid amount of points. Uh, a stupid amount of points uh, for for that fight. But I mean, especially up in the. Uh, this is the uh, Chocobo Air Garden. Uh, I mean, I think you can get uh, double, a uh, double score. Uh, just yeah, just from, uh, from the get go, really. And then you can stack all those bonuses on top of each other. It's just. Nuts! I think uh, I think you get in, this, in the region of uh, uh, sixty or even uh, eighty points. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. You you need to find all the topographs to actually get there, right? Right? No, no, that's not true. Whatever. Waffle, word salad, lots of points. Let's play. Let's play Chocobo Hot and Cold instead.
Huh, I actually did find something. Still haven't found all the junk graphs. Yeah. In case uh, there's a newbie uh, uh, watching, I know this because um, Mene will alert us to that when uh, we haven't found all the junk graphs yet. Uh, I will stop playing Jungle Bahamut when we get that message. Not a minute sooner. Believe it or not, I'm actually having fun. Oh, and uh, yeah. Uh, the uh, second to last episode and the one before that was an absolute mess to uh, <laughs> get the sound volume correct. Oh uh, shit! Ooh, that was close. Uh, but I have done things so that it should be a lot better here, uh, or at least a lot easier to edit because. Uh, hmm. Well. Well, because of how I've uh, set this up in the uh, uh, GeForce Experience settings. However, um, I have not at this time done a sound check of that specific setup, so... Uh, yeah, I might as well not say anything important in <laughs> these two episodes. if I had time to find anything else. Oh. <laughs> Game, you fucking troll me. You absolute wonderful little piece of dinky software. Huh. <sighs> okay. Let's keep going. Oh. 
Just as I got close to finding one too. Well, something. Making a find. Ooh. Um mind me, I'll just um fire up some system updates on my Linux machine. All we have so far over here. This has got to be a jungle graph. <sighs> Thank you, game. Thank you for that high potion. It was worth a lot of points, though. At some point, we're also going to look at that uh, point exchange menu. It works, uh, well, pretty much exactly like the uh, battle arena in uh, the battle square in Final Fantasy VII, except it's less tedious. Yes, I honestly think that. That is my honest opinion. of lords i'm not sure whether whether that is a unique item i mean as in you can only get it through the uh, point exchange but obviously it's gonna take a long time to get there tech ring probably not a unique item wing edge definitely not unique built gas is unique um all well, these other items um we're not useless, but uh, uh, we will not need to spend points here to get them, so I don't think we should. Uh, wingage is included in that. Um, so, uh, if you ask me if you need anything from... Uh, well, if you want to use your points for anything in Chocobo Hot and Cold, either the card or Robo Lords. Uh, but we have a minigame to play. And some tea to guzzle down. Uh, guzzle down, I almost managed to say that. Hey! Money! Not at all what I was looking for.
Hmm. Well, uh, that's a spread to be sure. Okay, um, give me all the choke graphs right now. I have time to dig for them. That's not a choke graph. That though. Yeah, this is garbage overgraph. And it was a tent. Thank you, game. I feel very seen. Fifty gil. But I really want to find choco graphs now. Give me choco graphs. Give me choco graphs.
Was. Yes. This is where we'll see the, the message that we are out of chocobrafts to find here. Uh, so we still have chocobrafts to find. Uh, chocobrafts. I can word. Just play once more, then uh, we can uh, call it an episode. But nope, I am going to stay here and have fun until we find the chocolate wraps. And with my luck, this is probably going to be. Good, I have something more fun for our next episode. Come on, my thumb is on fake. This is dumb. Come on. Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, okay, no chocolate wraps on uh, this. Last bit of fun for this episode. Uh, so, uh, let's see how we are doing. We have stream side. We can get that right off the bat. Uh, healing shores also, well, sort of within reach. That's over on the Bromesia side, though. Uh, abandoned beach. We are not getting there for quite a while. Far away lagoon. How uh, many are these? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's possible I'm missing two. Well, it's not within the realm of the impossible. Well, I mean, it is within the realm of the possible that I might find those on the next run. If RNGs is favorable. Anyway, this has been another episode of Drunk Hot and Cold. See you in the next one.